welcome and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing another comparison video, um, both very popular perfumes. Uh, one is the original and the other one is the flanker and it is by the house of Victor and Rolf. And it is Flower Bomb. Now I don't have the actual bottles, but I can pull up what the bottle looks like on my tablet here. Here we go. So this is the original flower bomb by the house of Victor and Wolf. So it is, the bottle looks like a grenade kind of. It's like a crystal grenade and it's got like that black flower pin, um, I guess to signify like a bomb because it is a, it's called flower bomb. Now, first of all, the name flower bomb, I don't really super agree with that. And let me explain to you why. So first, um, by the way, I am comparing it with its flanker, Flower Bomb Nectar. I don't know if you can see that. Flower Bomb Nectar. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but I do have both samples. So let's spray first the original. Flower Bomb. Let's see just how balmy it is or flowery it is hmm so as soon as you as soon as you spray it and it, these are just this just make tiny sprays okay because the sample sprayer they just make tiny spray sprays so just as soon as i spray it i already smell it it is already very strong but not like in a in an off-putting way but it's more like you can readily smell it as soon as you spray it so the opening to me is already very sweet um it's a very sweet and citrusy in the opening and then i'm already smelling um some powderiness so it's kind of like a really sweet vanilla that's powdery and citrusy but not like um, the citrus in this is just enough to give it a proper freshness but I wouldn't it's definitely not a fresh perfume it's a very warm it's a warm sweet scent now I was talking a while ago I said the name of it flower bomb I don't agree with it because it doesn't scream like a floral perfume to me. You do smell flowers, you do smell floral. I know it does have jasmine and uh, other floral uh, notes in it. I'm not, I, I don't really remember. Um, so like to me, it doesn't scream like a floral flowery scent. So I wouldn't really call it flower bomb, but I guess the name is kind of, kind of, you know, it's 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 easy to remember and it does have a kind of nice catch to it. But I would say maybe like petal bomb, you know, because it's just like to me, it just kind of smells like it has petals in it instead of like the whole flower. So I would just call it like a petal bomb. Okay, so that's the opening in uh, of of this perfume. Now we're we're getting to the dry down. Uh, the more it dries, the warmer it turns. Um, and the musk, um, you start smelling the musk already. So while we are right there, let's go ahead and spray the Flower Bomb Nectar. I'm almost out, guys. I've been testing this for a while. Um, so let's see how it compares. Okay. So initially, definitely it's already sweeter than nectar, already sweeter than this one. It has kind of like, um, I guess they name it nectar. Uh, I think it's appropriate. It's appropriate that they named nectar. I keep repeating myself today. Just, I just want to make sure I'm clear. 
Okay, so it, it to me, it reminds me of like a sweet honey. That's what I smell from this one. Now, there there is like a gunpowder accord. So, I don't smell it right now to me. Instead, it's, it's, that's supposed to give you like a metallic kind of feel in the scent. The gunpowder. Gun but to me, in the opening, I don't really get that. To me, to describe it to you better, I get... Now, this has orange blossom. I'm not sure if the original has orange blossom, but definitely even without looking at the notes on the nectar, I definitely smell orange blossom. Okay, so, so to me, besides that kind of honey, nectary kind of smell, I also get like a, like a, a little, a slight fizz, like, like a cola, like a cola kind of smell. You, you know, when you have, when you pour like a, a cola into a cup or a glass, and then it's kind of been sitting there for a while where, um, and it's not as fizzy anymore. It's kind of like going flat, but it still kind of has a little bit of that fizz. To me, that's what I get from this one. So I smell like a sweet honey cola with a slight fizz. Now going back to the original. Okay. So to me, both are very sweet. It's just kind of like a different type of sweetness. Now this one to me, the powderiness kind of stands out more. It, it's very reminiscent of a baby powder, like a Johnson's baby powder kind of powderiness. I'm not talking about the smell, but more of like the feel when you smell it, like the, the feel in your nose. And then this one, it's not, let me, let me see, hold on. Okay. So I, I, as this one is drying down, I can I get more of the metallicness. And actually, as I'm testing this one on the actual dry down, I do get a lot of that kind of peppery, metallic kind of smell on the nectar. Um, definitely, it 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 becomes less sweet. So if you are afraid of the nectar because of how sweet it is, it does get um, a little bit less sweet as it dries down. It kind of calms down as it's drying. So, the to me, this one, the nectar, I would say is definitely, if you're looking for something that's more floral, this is the way to go. And if you want something that's kind of honey-ish, uh, nectarish kind of feel or smell, this is the way to go. But if you want more of kind of like a light, lighter, a more airy, sweet scent, I will go with the, with the original Flower Bomb. But just do expect that both of these, they're not really Flower Bombs, in my opinion. To others, they may be very flowery, but to me, not really. Maybe the Nectar, because of that orange blossom, it's very strong to my nose and it kind of gives that kind of cola, um yeah like a like a coda i coda i was gonna say soda and cola now i said coda <laughs> now i started a new trend okay so it is it does have that cola scent to me um which kind of reminds me of i don't know if you guys have smelled the poison girl um you know that poison a poison girl has in the opening of that one has like a really strong cola smell to me that's that's how it smells to me like so both are really good um when when both of these are completely dried down they're not on this particular stage yet right now but when both of these have completely dried down they're very similar to me the sweetness kind of evens out so this in the big on the opening and mid very sweet so much sweeter than the original um but once they both dry down i would say they're equally sweet actually because this one, the sweetness gets uh, calms down, 
as it dries down but the original one it gets sweeter as it dries down so it, do it does the opposite so I would say they're equally sweet but the type of sweetness is different so it's just a matter of preference because the original flower bomb the sweetness is <clears throat> airy and fluffy and kind of cloudy powdery sweetness sweetness and the uh, nectar it's kind of like I don't really know how to describe it to you but like it's tighter the sweetness is like tighter whereas the original is kind of more open and eerie so it's just I, I think it's just a matter of preference now I think for a signature scent I would suggest the, the original flower bomb because I find it more versatile um, um, I, th I think yeah, I, th I think it's something that's easier to wear on a daily basis um, than the nectar. But if you have a sweet tooth, then definitely go for the nectar. Um, but like what I said to me, as they dry down, they're kind of equally sweet. In terms of um, lasting power, um, which one lasts longer, I, I, think it's, I think both are the same. I think both are equally... Um, uh, both have equal longevity now in the opening um, in the mid part of the scent I would say actually the nectar has a slightly better projection and sillage just because of that tight sweetness I was talking about um, and more floralness the orange blossom but um, once they're both equally settled in your skin, I would say they're both equally um, uh, sweet. Also, in terms of longevity, um, both of these are very lo long lasting. I've tested them both. Um, I, I'd say it lasted a good six hours. Um, in terms of I can still smell it without doing this. Like I could still smell them just kind of walking around like a good six hours and I've already taken a nap, uh, been in, in, in the sheets and, you know, in and out of clothes and I could still smell them. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Um, please let me know in the comment section below if you are enjoying this type of um, reviews. I personally enjoy um, doing comparisons because what inspire me is when I'm looking for perfumes, I do like to compare things. I do like to kind of like, hmm, which one's better? Should I go for this one or go for that one? So that personally inspires me. Um, that's why I do like making these videos and I have more coming up. So please hit the subscribe button so you'll never miss uh, a single one um, of my future reviews. And I, I do hope you are enjoying these guys. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.